Hello everyone, I'm Farhal Imran and today I'll be telling you about a new feature of OpenAI and it's called Canvas. So I'll be telling you all about this feature so stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss any information regarding it. So let's get started. So this feature called Canvas and it's in ChatGPT. So ChatGPT has this feature of Canvas. So it's a new way of working with ChatGPT to help in writing and coding also means it will help you in writing as well as coding so here you see this is a picture in which you can see there is a separate window and here you can see whatever you have written the prompt and here is the thing that ChatGPT has given like a blog or something like that so canvas is actually a new interface which is working with ChatGPT on writing and coding projects that go beyond simple text or chat so canvas what it happens it actually opens in a new window like a separate window which allows you and chat gpt to collaborate on a project and this early beta because it's in the beta phase now so what it does it introduces a new way of working together so it's not just through conversation but by creating and refining ideas side by side so canvas is actually built on gpt 4.0 and it can also be manually selected within the model picker while in beta because there are types like for example if you want chat gpt with 4.0 or chat gpt with canvas like chat gpt 4.0 with canvas you can select that so what happens is that so first of all let me tell you that chat gpt canvas is available to the plus and team users but for free, it's not yet for free users. When it's out of the beta phase, then it will be given to all ChatGPT free users. So they say that the collaboration is better with ChatGPT. Means how, as everyone notes that everyone uses ChatGPT for writing and coding. So the chat interface is easy to use and it works well for many tasks so but it's limited when you want to work on projects that require editing and revisions so what canvas does they offer this new interface for this kind of work so with canvas chat gpt they can better understand the concept of what you're trying to accomplish you can also highlight also specific sections to indicate exactly what you want chat gpt to focus on like a copy editor or code reviewer for example you select like here if you see you're selecting this text or something like that and then you tell like this is the text you want some changes you can ask chat gpt like you can point it and ask chat gpt like i want some changes in this text and it does the changes with the text you're pointing at so it can also give the feedbacks also and suggestions also with the entire project in mind here what happens is that you control the project in canvas you can directly edit text or code and there's also many of shortcuts for you to ask chat gpt to adjust for example writing length debug your code and also perform some other useful actions you can also restore previous versions of your work by using the back button in canvas so canvas opens automatically when chat gpt detects a scenario in which it could be helpful you can also include use canvas in your prompt to open canvas and use it to work on an existing project so the writing shortcuts it includes suggest edits adjust the length change reading level add final polish and add emojis so these are some of the shortcuts that you can use so suggest edit means it offers you feedbacks and suggestions in adjusting the length so it edits the document length to be shorter or longer and change reading level is it adjusts the reading level which level do you want whether it's kindergarten graduate school or like for example middle school or high school what kind of level you want you can change it according to it you can add some final polish like check for grammars clarity consistency whether it's clear or no and you can add emojis also like you can add relevant emojis for emphasis and color so here there's a video also you can see there are some shortcuts which i already told you about the add emoji suggest edits all these things you can do and how i was saying that you can highlight the text and you can ask chat gpt to make changes in that and see how chat gpt is making changes in that and even you can for example 
select the title and make changes in that also. So these are some of the features in which you can use it for writing. This is the reading level, the middle school, high school, college, what type of reading level you want. So how encoding canvas can be useful for coding. So as you know, coding is iterative process means you need to make changes in your code to make it perfect and better. And it's also hard to follow all the revisions to your code in chat. So what Canvas does, it makes it easy for you to track and understand the chat GPT changes. And they are also planning to continue improving transparency into these kind of edits. And some coding shortcuts include review code, add logs, add comments, fix bugs, or port to a language. So review code, what it does, it ChatGPT provides you some suggestions on how to improve your code. Add logs means it inserts the print statements to help you debug and understand your code. Add comments, so it add comment to the code to make it easier to understand. For example, if you want to give it to someone, so for someone to understand the code, it's hard for them. So what do you do to make them understand your code? What do you do? You add comments. So you can ask ChatGPT to add the comments so that other people can understand your code. And one more shortcut is that it can fix bugs, means it can detect bugs or the errors, and then it can resolve those. And there's port to a language, means it translates your code into JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java, C++, or PHP, means it translates your code into a different language, whether it's JavaScript, Python, C++, or C, or PHP. So in any, different language you want the code so you can translate your code into a different language so here is also a video in which you can see it says help me write an api web server in rust for example so it's giving you the code and then you can make some changes for example you're highlighting and then you say add ask chat gpt for example add routes for sign up and login so then it's again writing more code and then you're making the changes for example like greetings you are at the root point and then here, this is for the, these are some of the shortcuts, code review, portal language, fix bugs, add logs, and add comments, which I already told you about. So here you can see, you can make, select, and do the code review, means you can ask ChatGPT to do the code review for you. Here you can see in the video. And then there's the portal language, add comments, for example, there's the ad comments also. You can add those also. So that's all for my site. Thank you so much.